Our goal at the end of the day is to see all these guys get a legitimate shot at playing in the NHL. And you look at what Lurgy did from last January on, he's obviously put his nose to the grindstone, got to work. He's put himself in a position where he's physically fit, capable to, to sustain and hopefully endure the season, which uh, if he continues to play the way he's playing, uh, you know, we all hope that he's going to get his crack at the National Hockey League. But like I said, the, the intangibles that this kid brings, the, the leadership skills that he brings, um, they're irreplaceable. And to have him back in there, it's a, it's a huge, huge part of the puzzle for us. Whether you're talking to a rookie, a second-year guy, a veteran guy, what's the biggest thing to tell guys to get them mentally and physically ready to get the call? Because you never know when it's going to happen, and here in the American Hockey League level, you're, you're a phone call away from going to the National Hockey League. Yeah, well, you know what? It's, it's a lot easier this year. Um, with the, the new management up top in Colorado, uh, they want to win down here. It's, it's, ba it's a merit-based system. And, and that makes it real easy for Dean and Laddie and Jock and myself um, to say, hey, you know what? If you want to play in the NHL, you got to be our best players. And, and that's, that's the message in the room. Uh, that's the message. That's the directive coming down from, from Craig Billington, who, uh, you know, he and I are in contact every day talking about what's going on in Lake Erie. In the event there's a call up, who is it going to be? Well, like I said, the message in the room is if you're playing well, you're going to be rewarded. And there's nothing more that you want as a player than to have that knowledge to know, you know what, if I'm the best player every night down here, I know I'm going to get my crack if opportunity knocks. And that's, like I said, it, it's, you can't even put a, a value on that because, uh, you know, we, we've done things a little bit differently throughout the first six years of our, you know, our existence. And this year, I think we're going to reap some benefits of, of how we actually do the call-ups. And going off of that a little bit, you've been involved since the Monsters started here in Cleveland, and now that the team's into its seventh year, there are guys in Colorado who are former Monsters, there are guys across the National Hockey League who are former Monsters, there are guys who've gotten their names on the Stanley Cup who are former Monsters. When you look at that, when everybody looks at that and you know sees guys having come through here and gotten that National Hockey League opportunity, what does it mean for everybody? Well, that's why that's why I do my job. I know that's why you know our coaching staff. That's why they we come to work every day trying to figure out how to make players better. And you know it's a, it's an unbelievable feeling when you finally get to tell a kid that he gets a crack, or you know even even if he gets traded. I mean it's it's an opportunity to go and, and play in a team, that an organization that wants you. And you know we we tell our guys all the time, you're playing to get called up, but you're also playing for 29 other NHL teams. And like you said, Johnny Boychuk winning the Stanley Cup. I mean, we love that kid. And it, it wasn't the it wasn't we didn't want to see Johnny Boychuk go away, but he went away, and and now he's he's making you know I think he's making three or four million bucks a year, and he's got his name on that nice silver big trophy. So um, it's it's a rewarding job because. We give direction. The kids that generally take the direction and run with it, they're going to give themselves a chance to play. And, and you know what? It happens quicker for some guys than it does for others. But, uh, you know, like I said, for, for our staff down here, that's why we do our job.